Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping this time back again as Fiend himself. He's been a fun character and I do understand him a little bit more now. I mean, him or her, I don't know. Both Golem and Fiend are a little bit, I don't know, you don't know either way. Either way, um, yeah, I know how to play this guy a little bit better than I used to. Not, I wouldn't say a lot, but one thing that's pretty key that I now understand is that with this character... Oh god, oh god, this guy's going to release a ghost as well, isn't he? Um, one thing I do understand a little bit more now is... For one, if you kill something with that um, little explosive, you get a, a half soul heart or half demon heart, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you're, you lose your hair health in um, basically types. So if you have lots of the same type of health lined up next to each other, for example, if you have black hearts that are all like lined up next to each other, then you will lose all those black hearts at once. Same with the, uh, the fiend heart. So you've got to make sure that you have your health sort of lined up correctly in the right order um, and, and have them like sort of black heart, um, fiend heart, black heart, fiend heart like that. Otherwise you're going to lose them all in one go. Um, and you really don't want that. And like I said, we really need to be utilizing our explosives whenever we can. They did do a patch with Fiend and made, made his explosives spawn a lot less commonly because they were a bit crazy before. But um, we'll see if that makes any difference or not. Uh, but yeah, at least I understand how, what we're doing a little bit more with this guy now. Um, we got some ghosty boys here. We did get a lot of fool's gold rocks there, but I don't believe our explosives give us the ability to... Um, I don't think they give us the ability to destroy rocks in any way, shape, or form. Damn it. Okay, so the ghosts aren't really a good target for uh, this. Can we get a, uh, a tier through there? You can. These guys are pretty tricky. I think you got to shoot them while they're firing and they won't disappear as quick. Slightly tedious room here, but honestly, they only take about three hits to kill each, so it wasn't terrible. Ooh, ooh, hello. I will very much take you and utilize you straight away to get myself some good stuff going on with this. Uh, we also even got a really, really good room for this. So one, two, one, two, okay, stay out of the way of that bomb for now. I know the double hearts is a bit of a waste doing that, but we did get the angel deal teleport and we got the sensor. It's a little bit annoying that we got that because now we're going to have to use a normal heart, but there you go. It ended up working out, I suppose. Right, not too bad. Was that a penny in there as well I saw? It was indeed. We also got a bomb out of that, which allows us to get our tinted rock. Um, one thing that you guys won't be able to distinguish or hear at all, also my heart, so not in a, a good layout right now. You guys won't be able to distinguish or hear at all, but I got a new headset just the other day. My, uh, my girlfriend got me a brand new headset for my birthday. Because uh, it was my birthday um, on the 24th, just a few days ago. Uh, probably be about a week ago for you guys. Ooh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. You used a little greedling. Ooh, hello. Double burn hearts. So we want to take a burn heart and then this. Oh, burn hearts are different as this guy. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, let's keep going. It's actually kind of nice to have this. But yeah, right now our health is not good at all. We can lose a lot of health in one go right now. Uh, also, why not do this? Lots of money there. But yeah, got a new headset and the audio quality is substantially better. I had the HyperX Cloud 2 and now I have the HyperX Cloud Alphas. Um, and they are, yeah, they're, they're proving to be very, very good. Like, the bass is just insane. So the game is sounding a lot better to me right now. Just generally, gaming is sounding a lot better. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, I had a very good birthday. I, um, I had what might be called um, a food binge disaster. Not not in the way that it was an actual disaster, but just in the way that I ate so much food. I was kind of like laying out for like an entire day. It was insane. Um, we booked uh, three different restaurants essentially in a day and went for one for breakfast, one for lunch and one for tea. Um, it, was, it was awesome. I really enjoyed myself. We also were drinking like perpetually throughout the entire day, but never got drunk because we'd just eaten so much food. Oh, living the dream right there. But as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what is a chance encounter that you would consider one of the most important of your life? What is something that happened to you 
that, that, that was kind of out of the blue or random that ended up being something that is that is molded. Holy shit. I did not realize it would work with these things. Also, here's me getting hit a ton. I didn't realize it would work with these little little, little dudes. I would have used that more often if I'd have known that. Um But yeah, uh, what is a what is a chance encounter that for you was was really sort of influential on the rest of your life? For me, I, I would probably say the way in which I met my girlfriend, just because meeting my girlfriend has made it so that um like I have a I have what I would consider a considerably better life than if I hadn't, just because I'd probably be staying at home with my parents right now still. Ooh, this, this is a, a little bit of a tricky dude. These guys are insane. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Sensor's helping, but... Oh, shit, I did die. <laughs> oh, well. Um, anyways, we'll restart. That is a little bit of a shame, considering I got Sensor off the bat on that one, but um, we'll just take that for what it is. We got a library this time around. Fiend is a little tough, especially if you don't have your health organized in a decent manner, which I definitely didn't there. Um... But yeah, uh, for me, so like the way in which I met my girlfriend was 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 pretty a pretty um, sort of chance based thing. We'll check this out. Um, ooh, hmm, this is a tricky one. Both of these are good. I think that this one's better because it gives us damage for the entire floor, um, and we can use it multiple times, which is really nice. We did get one of those bod bad boys, which actually works with fiend now, which it didn't last time. So, oh, well, yeah, I didn't count. Oh my god, that launched everything everywhere. Um, yeah, I I basically like met her through a group of friends that I wasn't really friends with her at the time. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna say I didn't like her or anything. Obviously, I did. Um, but I I wasn't really friends with her at the time. But I was friends with her friends, and then I kind of met her through that. And um, I ended up like we ended up talking about games and stuff, and I ended up borrowing Skate Two from her, and that was kind of the point at which um, at which we started talking a lot more. Um, because we kind of knew we were into the same games and stuff. It's a shame I don't have money for that little shop there. And, and yeah, that is, I, I like, I went to university. I wouldn't say I went to university because of her, but it was one of the reasons I decided to go because she was going, and I was kind of like, well, why not then? Um, so that was kind of one thing. Ooh, this is a slightly tricky room for us here. Okay, calm down. My, my little buddy's doing some stuff. He's not, not really going crazy, but he's doing some stuff. Um, you do that, sir. You do that. I love the way this guy transforms. Oh, ho, ho, triple hit. Ooh, there's a wall bullet. It's like raining shots. I'm going to die on the boss again, aren't I? Yeah, I'm definitely going to die on the boss again. Fiend is tricky. We have proven that this, on this day. Okay, no, we got there. We got there. Give me those bad boys back. A little bit of a shame to just have this there for us. Okay, down to the next floor. Um, yeah, and I probably would have been. I, I don't know if I'd have gone to university, and I probably would have stayed at home. Um, at least in my home city, and my home city has basically nothing going on. But one moment. Okay, we are good to go. Sorry about that. Right, let's continue onwards. Let's see what's what with this big guy. But yeah, it ended up being obviously quite influential because it ended up being that I moved to the city I'm in now and I like this city a lot, lot more, uh, generally. I think it's so much better um, than my home city and I'm having a much better time and I've got like different friend groups and I've got a new job and all that good stuff. It's really good. Ooh, well, I'm really sorry. I need to pause again. Okay, we are back now. Apologies for that. I, I, I immediately panicked because the music went really funny on my headset. Like, it kind of felt like one ear had stopped working and obviously it's a new headset so I crapped myself. So I was testing to make sure it wasn't an issue with the headset. And I don't think it was. I think it was just part of the track and I panicked. Um, okay. With these guys, I just want to say, do I actually, like, want to be shooting my fire at them? I hate. Uh, I hate enemies that move like this. God damn, it's the worst thing ever. Enemies that move in this way are just the worst. Because it's just if you have a low fire rate, they're so hard to hit. Anyways, we got through them. Uh, we got deck of cards, which is... Oh, that hurt us. Shit. Uh, we got a deck of cards, which is a little bit, like, not very useful for us right now. Um, we got a merged card here. What the hell? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Now it's a strength card. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I guess I'll take the strength card for now. Damn it, we need to kill more enemies with our strike, really. We really do. 
This uh, this book is going to have diminishing returns as we go forward here, but it's still going to be very useful. Also, Papa Fly, by the way. Papa Fly is pretty decent. People people disrespect the Papa Fly. I actually think Papa Fly is really good because it um, it deals your damage. So if you have high damage, it can do some good stuff. It's not obviously going to be insane, but it can do some good stuff. Right. Um, let's take our time here. What what are you doing above the rock there? Could you not be above above a rock, please? That'd be kind of nice. Okay, you've killed yourself. How about you? Oop, you are... Yeah, you, you've, you've, you've killed yourself as well. Okay, so that, that kind of worked out in our favor there. And we've got good damage for this fight as well. I love the boss music in this mod. It's really good. I could pop my strength card here, but I don't think it's really necessary. Do you know what? I'm just going to try and farm up a little bit more to get another fireball. I don't actually know what constitutes giving you the fireballs. I'm not sure if it's time-based or what. Papa Fly, can you not shoot the boss, please? It looks like I'm not going to get my opportunity here because... Oh, no, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. Right. It doesn't work on these enemies? Damn. Maybe it doesn't work on spawned enemies. That's fine. I tried my best. And sadly, we got another pretty mediocre damage upgrade there. Uh, there is a key over this way. Oh, no, it's, it's locked behind rocks. Okay, let's just make our way... Yeah, I'd say for a fiend run so far, this isn't going so well. Health-wise, on the last run, we were doing a lot better. But we'll... Uh, We'll make it work. And, I mean, we've got decent damage. I want to I want to try and get this corn thing upgraded a bit. Oh, what the hell? What hit me then? Was it the peeper's eye? I think it must have been the peeper's eye. Okay, so we're now, we're now one hit away from death. So that's not great. Um, you, We got you back. Good, good. We do have an astral challenge over here. Um, We can see what item they're offering to us. Juno, plus one soul heart. Enemies have a chance to be revived. Ooh, I like the idea of that. I'm just going to take it. And then we can pop our strength card here. Okay, we did we did get this guy, which I consider to be one of the hardest bosses. Um, he's got the um, the like lightning eye, um, laser eye, whatever you want to call it, attack, which I find particularly difficult. The rest of his attacks are mostly okay, but he's got a few that are really difficult. But we should be able to get him here. Okay, I got hit again there. Oh my god, that was a bit risky, but we got there in the end. And we got an item that I consider to be very, very, very good. It gave us a soul heart, but also the reviving factor that it has is, is pretty awesome. Careful for whatever this guy throws at us. Wow, I annihilated him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Also, we've made the fiend look um quite beautiful. <laughs> the fiend is looking quite lovely now. We got nice flowing locks. Beautiful flowing hair. But yeah, it's always funny to think about those chance encounters that make a big difference in your life. Like, I think I think with a lot of people, it's like with like career perspectives, but it could be other things as well. So yeah, like this guy, look, we get him as a little follower and he'll follow us to other rooms. And I think with Fiend Folio, it's going to be a, a lot of fun because we're going to get a lot of um, a lot of various modded enemies as uh, as our little followers here. There we go, look at that. This guy's revived. I don't know if it's like always the last enemy of the room or something. No, it definitely isn't. Okay, that guy, I, th I feel like that bat's going to be pretty good. It also works for champions too. So if we find a champion, it can it can work on those, which I quite like. You don't tend to see a lot of champions in Fiend Folio, I don't think. Oh, we got two of those guys. There is a few um, here and there that we see, but not, not a whole ton. Okay, so these guys... They jump around and spawn more spores, don't they? Yeah. Okay. That's fine by us. Okay, nice. We did get one of them back. It's, it's, it's not always, but it seems like it's kind of an average of one pair of room. Also, we're not getting hearts sometimes, and I'm not quite sure why. Ooh, that was a bad hit. And we didn't get a little fiend buddy there. Do we have to have a whole heart for it to trigger? Maybe we do. Ooh, rubber cement's really nice for us here. I love that item. And then we also got a disc here, which is a devil disc, which we'll use for our um, our boss fight, of course. We use this as well. And I can also I keep thinking my corn thing that's hovering around me is a um, is a fly um, uh, a fireball. So I'm like, let's use a fireball. It's just this corn. Oh damn, that worked out well at least. <laughs> that worked out really well. Because here's our boss. I love having rubber cement. It's just such a fun item. Yeah, look at this. We've got an absolute army with us now. And this army can grow pretty crazy. 
Okay, so this guy's interesting. And then the fact that we can charm the enemies as well. What the hell hit me then? Sometimes I just get baffled by what hits me. I'm like, eh, excuse me. But anyways, this is a, a pretty good setup. And we've got an enemy that can spawn other enemies, which is really nice here. Got some froggies. Is this like a new champion variant? Or is this just... No, this is just the old champion variant, but with uh, some new enemy spawns, I think. So this guy can't, uh, can't shoot me, so I can stay pretty chill with this guy. It goes spawned a good few things there. We did get duality there, which is really nice, because I can take the um, angel deal straight off the bat here, and I most certainly will take Sacred Orb. And we'll uh, head on down, and I think we've got a reasonably good setup for a decent run here. Health is still wavering a little bit. Health is still in a in a somewhat tenuous situation. We've not got a lot of it, but I feel like that's probably a not-so-permanent setup. Ooh, I've never seen that guy do that before. And also, damage right now is, is not, I wouldn't say fully taken care of, but we do have a good bead on damage just because... Oh, that room was a lot of explosives, everything died. Um, okay, what's going on here? Hey, look at that. Health's going well. I really want an actual black heart now, though, so that I can um, separate my health slightly, but you can't really count on getting black hearts, to be honest. They'll just come when they come. Our free trial has ended, sadly. We, we only really cared about duality, I'll be honest. Because we got, like, heartbreak in there, but we didn't get any broken hearts, so it didn't really do anything. Fine by me, to be honest. Okay, these guys got to be careful of. There's a lot of bouncy shots and stuff here. There's a fiend heart back over there. Oh, we got a frog. I wonder how that works when there's no pits. Ooh, that's really nice. And that should give us a black heart. Oh, no, it didn't. I was really hoping that would give us a black heart to separate our hearts a little bit, but... Sadly, not so lucky. Oop, that was really stupid. I walked right into that. It's okay. Got all of those back. Oh my god, what hit me then? What on earth hit me then? Oh, hello, this is cool. Fires off like a little cloud. Damn, I'm getting hit a lot right now. I kind of need to just stay out of enemy's way. Oh, we also got the hallway greed mod, so we still do get a shop here, which is pretty fun. Um, we'll see if we can get ourselves some extra money. Come on, don't be a bit dick. Yay. Um, do we want Sackhead or Red Stew? I honestly think Red Stew's better off for now. Uh, just being able to speed through some floors. It's going to be quite nice. We'll probably get hit by a stone here. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. Sadly, we're not going to revive from Bino here. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome, but... We won't get that lucky. Hey, we've sat, finally got some split hearts. And we get this as well, which is not super useful, but decent. And we go down. Okay, so we've finally got some, uh, some blah, 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 somewhat split HP, which basically saves our life now. Um, that, that's going to be a huge bonus. Oh, damn. Enemies like this are pretty good to revive if we can. Our boils that are sat at the door are still alive, which is pretty funny. We do have a tinted treasure room here. We could get something interesting from there, I suppose. Let's take a little look-see. Uh, we don't know what it would be. Um, it, it's most likely Super Meat Boy. Um, and I really would rather keep that, so I'm going to say no for now. That's the only item in our inventory I know that has a tainted variant. Or it could be Sacred Orb. I think Sacred Orb has one too. And I don't want to lose that either, so... Let's say no to that for now. I really do like the, the tainted version of the Super Meat Boy item, but it's just not for us right now. we got a Key Boy here. Oh, what the hell? So how was that meant to work? I, I think I killed that guy preemptively there. I think I was meant to do some sort of play with him and I and I just didn't. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, I like these dudes. Oh my god, the little ghosty fellas, look at them. Gotta be a little careful around them. There's a lot of them on this floor, wow, a lot of them. Uh, this is only Adept 1, so we can go for the boss straight away here. We do have some of the meat fellas here. I'll take them out first. Ooh, we got one of those as a follower. And just look at the craziness of this run. Hey, White Rose is really nice here. And that gives us even more split HP, which is really good. Yeah, look at this craziness we've just got following with us now. Th this Juno item is, is very, very strong. It's, it's, it's just a really fun item to have on Fiend Folio 2 in general. Just being able to have, like, just a crazy amount of followers of various different enemy types and stuff. What the hell? Oh, it's this dude! It's this dude! Ah! Oh my god. 
I forgot about the scary dude. Whoa, look at all the, the peepers. Sitting in the, uh... Sitting in there. Whoa, we got like a scythe dude with us now as well. Got the scythe dude coming along. Oh my god, everything's going crazy. Everything is going crazy here. We got him as well. <laughs> I love this. I love this. He seems to be spawning these little dudes as well, look. I don't know what we're going to get here, but we'll take it. I'm taking a risk and taking all of these coins. Didn't really give us much. We got a luck upgrade out of one of them, though. We got this guy again. Are you kidding me? Stay away. You scary beastie. Okay, I've cracked those open. I've heard them for items, but cards are good. Plus three fireballs is not super useful for us right now. And then we got double our keys, which is pretty good. On a chest here could give us an item. Damn it. Plus three fireballs is good for a bit later on, I think. Right, let's get out of here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, I think the cloaked dude that we have is making all those little eyes in all of the rooms with pits. And they can then summon, like these look. Because then they weren't there before. And they can summon these enemies, which unfortunately do still attack me. So kind of not a great thing to um to have this guy on our side because he's kind of causing us some issues he's kind of causing us to have to deal with enemies we wouldn't otherwise have to be <laughs> which is pretty funny but still a little, little bit of a little bit of a dick move i'll i'll let him have it oh my lord yeah how was i meant to dodge that one <laughs> holy thank you Look at the amount of eyes. It's really cool looking, I will say. Visually, I think it's really, really cool. But gameplay-wise, a little bit on the scary side. At least it means we've got consistent enemies coming in to spawn for Juno, which is kind of nice. And it only activates in, in rooms with pits too, which is, of course, pretty good. You are back, my fellas. Obviously, a lot. the, the thing is, a lot of rooms do have pits, so... We do got to consider that as a champion boy. A, a black heart. Nice. Gives us some level of protection at least. Oh, wait, the black heart's gone. I don't know where he went. I saw him turn to a baby, but then he disappeared. Oh, my lord. Makes me panic. Um, We'll try and do this, but I, I'll, I'll, we'll see what we end up getting. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to get that on one try. Ah. Oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? This guy needs to die, <laughs> like, real soon. Hey, Seraphim. I will take Seraphim any day. Yeah, this guy needs to go, and I'm not really sure how to get him killed. Because at the minute, he's been a pain. We need that, um, we need that trinket that makes black poops drop, uh... Black heart sometimes. That'd be super useful as his character. That'd actually be incredible as his character. Whoopsie. I think we're heading back this way, aren't we? Careful, I did get hit there. Just one to turn back into. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm going right now. I hate Curse of the Miz so much. That was pretty good, though. Um, I guess this makes sense. Mum's ring is definitely a, a good bit of sense for me there. And it dropped us the soul of my stemma, which um, spawns an item from a random pool that will either give broken hearts based on quality or remove equivalent hearts or spawn the item for free. So we just use that, I guess. It spawned potato peeler for free. Um, I don't think Potato Peeler is going to be so good. Oh, actually, no, I think it took hearts off of us to, to, to spawn that, which is a little annoying. Ooh, I love this arcade music. We got Sacred Assassin here. Speed, uh, every time you get hit, you lose 20% of the buff. 
I mean, I might as well take that for now. That's pretty decent. Come on. Damn you, game. I really want that. I really want that. Right, now now I don't know where the hell we're meant to be going. We've been this way. We've been this way. Been this way. Okay, it must be this way. One of these doors. We didn't go through. Nope, we've been this way, this way. And this way. I am very confused. I hate Curse of the Maze. Curse of the Blind, even. I, I have no idea where it is that I haven't been. There's apparently a single room somewhere that I didn't go through. And... I really can't fathom where that might be. What the hell? <laughs> where is it? <laughs> I'm so confused. Also, I should really be taking that golden penny to try and get Jacob's ladder, shouldn't I? A good golden penny so far. A very good golden penny so far. Got three more goes at Jacob's Ladder here. Damn you, game. Why are you such a brutal bitch? 50% chance is crazy. Okay. We've been this way. No doors here. We have... There's no doors here. Been this way. There's no doors here. We have been this way. No doors here. Been this way. No doors here. No doors here. No dolls here. No dolls here. What? Oh, is this a doll? Oh my god. God damn it. That was a doll. I didn't realize that at the time. God damn it, game. It's very hard to tell when you don't have a map that that's a doll. There's a lot going on here. Oh my lord. Look at the amount of eyes. This is gonna be, this is gonna be just horror. We made it through just about. There's so much going on in every room, it's hard to keep track. Legitimately so much going on, I can't tell. Okay, just get some fire on you. I spawned us some hearts for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. I didn't kill anything, but I will most certainly take it. Why not? Okay, mum's foot's down. Um, I'm going to say let's go dark path this time around. We do have a boss rush here that we might want to do. Flat stone plus um, rubber cement's kind of funny. That's plus one black heart, which is kind of nice. I feel like this could be a really big mistake, but I'm also going to do it because why not? I want to Basically, I'm doing this for the sole reason that I want to know if there's, um... I want to know if there's any Fiend Folio bosses in Boss Rush. If there isn't, I hope a mod comes out to add them. That'd be really cool. But yeah, I don't know why fl um, Flatstone was the one I picked up, because it's really not a very good item, but... It's just kind of funny to be able to see, like, all of the, um... I hate this enemy so much. Um, be able to see all of the, the shots, like, bouncing and... Ooh, I think, yeah, okay, okay. We do have a Fiend Folio boss here. So one problem I'm just considering now, which I hadn't considered prior, is we ain't gonna get our hearts back at the end of each boss wave, are we? So we really only have four hits until we're completely dead in here, which really should have considered earlier, because that's a pretty pivotal part of, um how long we're going to live here. I mean, at least our little dudes are going to be doing damage because there's a lot of them. I'm still not a huge fan of that, though. But, really cool to see that we got Fiend Folio bosses in here. I was hoping that would be the case. Also, any enemy that spawns at enemies is going to be really good for us because um, we're going to be able to get hearts off of them. And also, as you can clearly see, turn them into uh, friends. I mean, our damage is pretty darn good, which is one, like, very great thing for us here. Also, it's like, you need to go straight away. Honestly, my little dudes are doing such a good job, but if I don't get a heart right now, I'm going to be in a very tough spot. Okay, honestly, actually, now, 
they are doing insane damage. The only problem we have now is Fiend Folio bosses are hard, and I don't know them very well. Like, what the hell did he just do there? I do not know, and I don't know how to handle this. Like, he might laser beam right now, and I have no idea if it's coming. Holy. The damage we're putting out is absolutely bonkers. Like, once these guys find their target, they are dead. One very positive thing with this whole experience. They're getting crits as well, which I'm seeing every now and again, which I'm not quite sure how that works. Okay, two very annoying bosses here. I just don't want them to do their laser attacks. Why has not a single boss dropped hearts in forever? Drop some hearts for me, bitches. Oh, there's a heart. Okay. <laughs> Been one here the whole time. Could have saved myself the trouble ages ago. Okay, you're another boss that needs to go. Anything that fires beams. Yeah, I do forget as well. I, I, I'm pretty sure our little buddies can't die while they're out like this. Which makes them even stronger. Because they can just focus on getting the damage done. We don't have to worry about them dying. I wonder if uh, enhanced boss bars will get updated for Fiend Folio at some point. I'm guessing that'll take a little while because it's quite a lot of new graphics to create. But that'd be really cool to see. Oh, hello, Cage. I look at the crit. I don't know what the crits are for, but I love them. Love to see it. Hey, we did it, and we got a great item as well. We don't have great luck, so it's not going to be amazing, but... I should have picked that up in a different order. I've realized that now. That's something I need to consider more often, when I, how, how I pick them back up. But anyways, really, really, really solid boss rush there. I managed to make it out just about. And I got to witness a, a new cool boss rush, which I like. Um, yeah, I'll do this because I could give us an item. Also, what was, what's happened to my character? Like, half of my face is missing. Oh, we are a fiery guy right now. We are quite fired up. Yeah, like, we are uh, missing quite a, quite a large chunk of our face. I'm not sure what has caused that or what I can do to regain my face, but for now, we're just going to have to accept it as our fate. I don't know what enemies are left. <laughs> That was very confusing. <clears throat> One thing I'm noticing, by the way, which is a little bit of a... I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional. The Book of Lucifer, or whatever this book is called. I think it's the Book of Lucifer. It gives us less damage each use, but it, but it stacks the damage per floor. But even once we go to the next floor, it keeps giving us less and less damage. Like, shouldn't it reset at the end of each floor how much damage it's giving you per time? Like, so we got 0 0.61 damage that last time. You watch, the, you watch. I bet we get less this time around. Okay, I forget about the laser enemies here. But don't worry, we've got Flatstone and the like, so. So after this room, let's see how, how much we get. Whoa, what is going on with this guy? Can we get, can we get our shots in there? Okay, I don't know what's going on with this dude. I, I, I thought I pressed all the buttons. Okay, I hadn't. Right. Yeah, we got 0 0.57 that time. I think it's... I, I don't know if that's a bug or not. I feel like it is a bug. Okay, at least we're not getting those every room anymore. At least that dude died. Oh, wait, no. We are getting them every room still. Great stuff. This is a tough room. Okay, though, we respawn one of those as our own. Having a boil at the door is always useful. Not really. We've got a few enemies that are just stuck at the door. That are uh, basically unable to die, but also unable to help. Right. Sadly wrong way this time. Whoa, that's a cool enemy. I got hit there. Don't really know what hit me, but I'll take it. For the most part, rooms are not that bad. It's just big boss fights that are a problem with this character. 
rooms themselves really don't feel like they're all that all that bad. Okay, we know which way we're going now, because it's the only way we can go. I think it's our hair that's disappeared. So right now we're just hairless. Like you can catch the tail ends of it, but like that's it. Ooh, what the hell's these guys? I, I didn't even pay attention to these enemies. It's a, a bit wacky. Having one charmed was a bit weird there. Okay. Careful for all the eyes. Maybe I just have that ability for now. Whoa, look at this enemy. That guy looks awesome. And he turns into like a husk at the end as well. That is really fucking cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Some of the womb enemies are some of my favorites, to be honest. They've got some really creative ones. Also, why do my fires keep doing that? They're like leaving extra fires when, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. I missed out on a heart there, damn. It's kind of hard to see where I am. But we did find ourselves our boss, which is rather nice. And it's a very easy boss as well, nice. Is this death a wound boss? I can't remember. Doesn't feel like a wound boss. Cuban meat is something. Eh, we can't really risk taking that, to be honest. We don't know what we're getting. Right, keep moving on. I think this is going to be a pretty good fiend run, though, overall. I like the noises that guy's making. Are these always dud bombs? No. So the, the, it is what I thought. It is like, sometimes it's a dud bomb. Sometimes it's a bomb that deals extra damage. It's kind of an interesting idea, that. Oh, damn it. That was a bad hit. That was a bad hit. Ooh, I want, I want one of these guys. Give me one. Damn it. Now, we've got quite a few good enemies now that chase down and can reform. Enemies that can reform are, like, the best ones to have as your followers. Okay, these guys we don't really understand. I got hit again. We really could do with some extra HP here. Oh my god, stop chasing me down. I don't need this. Oh, they opened up into spiders. Not a great trinket for us. Ah, oh, you bastard. Okay, we're losing quite a lot of health now. And it, it definitely doesn't help that I have absolutely no idea what health I'm on. Uh, to be fair, one thing that doesn't help is the fact that it's very, very hard to see what's actually a real enemy. That's a big part of why I'm having such a hard time here. It's very hard to distinguish. I really want one of those guys as my own. It'd be awesome. Got some red keys here. Do you want to open up, sir? I think I've got to stop firing at him. Yeah, well, maybe? Oh, maybe he's just a trap. Maybe the whole point is I've got to kill these dudes. Okay, he is just a trap. I wasn't sure about that. Okay, take care of you. Thank God the eyes actually telegraph where they're going to shoot now. That helps a lot. One of them is now our eyes, which is good. It's a good enemy to have as a stationary boy. Okay, that happened again. I don't know what's causing this. Because I don't have, like, sack head or anything. But yeah, every now and again when I kill Mum, it just explodes into loot. And I'm really not sure what causes it. If anyone has any idea what this is from, could you let me know? Because it feels a bit cheaty. But at the same time, I'm not going to not take advantage of it. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing Dark Path this time around, so let's go do that. Yeah, I don't know what causes that. It's it's very weird. But she drops like a bunch of sacks or just a bunch of loot in general. And it's it's a bit crazy. Oh wait, I got 0 0.61 this time again, look. Also, that guy has a new attack pattern, which is pretty cool. 
Ooh, listen to the music on this floor. That's very interesting. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, I thought you were just turned over to my side. Damn, the little little imp dudes are a problem because they keep making it so that um, the rooms last longer. The traps and stuff are more dangerous. Whoa, spike, spiky teeth, boys. Got some devil poops here. Are the devil poops the enemies in this room? Oh no, there's just a hearse here that we can't see. Them devil poops are pretty cool though. Yeah, this this floor's also got some of the really, really cool enemies. Also the wall pattern designs are pretty awesome here. The whippy tongue dude is doing work right now. Yeah, let's take the adjustment card, which gives us some money. Yeah, the, the whippy tongue dude is really going in. Oh, if we could turn this guy, it'd be awesome because he has a lot of health. Damn it. Do you know what? I hate those enemies. Yes, please. Also, that was... We don't need all those keys. That was an insane amount of keys. Whoa. Oh, my God. Some of these enemies have some cool-ass attack patterns. Hey, Blackheart's perfect for us here. God, the music's so good. Also, this guy's changed a bit, so let's... Uh, Damn it, way too early on the bomb. Ooh. Okay, so he, sp he spawns imps now instead of explosives, which is good to know. It's a bit of a change. Also, we got a champion version of the Fallen there. Ooh, he did double brimstone towards me. Okay, so his brimstones are a little more targeted now. And then that attack... That This makes this guy considerably harder. Ooh, I forgot about that too. Forgot about that too. Okay, lost quite a lot of health there. I don't think we're going to be taking many devil deals from this floor here. We'll see, but I, I doubt it. Money equals power. Yeah, unfortunately none of those are really worth the health that we got. Ooh, we got luncheon boss. This boss is really cool. He like lobs out worms that we've got to attack. And the worms are really tricky. And the worms can hatch eggs too, apparently. It's really, it's a really cool boss. It's like kind of a Great Gideon-esque sort of thing. Huzzah, you've been beated. Beated upon. Yeah, there's a lot of things doing various attacks that I can't see at the minute. The darkness doesn't help. Am I not hitting this guy? He was taking a very long time to die there. Also, I got hit right at the end of that room there. Oh, there's a purple fire. That's probably what hit me. Um, oh, my heart's dropped over here. Okay. Fuzzy Penny. Uh, that's probably better than what we have right now. I like fuzzies. The music on these last floors is very weird, but I, I, I do think it kind of fits. Ooh, what the hell's this guy? Is that a beast beggar? He's asking for HP, so I can't really afford to use him right now. But a beast beggar sounds like an interesting concept. Ooh, we got one of these ghosts as our friendlies. Pretty awesome. One time use of wavy cap. Not super useful for us right now, but there you go. He was. Guess I'll keep that for now. This is going to be a tricky room. Let's just get out of here. I like these gravestones. They're a, a good touch. I like these uh, invincibility flies as well. They're a, they're an interesting enemy. What hit me then, exactly? Okay, I took a lot of damage there. I don't know what, what even hit me, so... That's rather nice. Proptosis and quad shot are pretty good too. Okay, that was a pretty good grab right at the end there. It's going to be a hard fight for this guy, I think. But if we stay close, he should die pretty quick. There you go. Ow. Okay, we got him. 
We finally got a win as this guy. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. What a fiend folio filled run. So many enemies on our side. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.